Welcome back to the pregame show. The change starts with me, nonprofit, made it a point to be sure that its efforts following George Floyd's death were not temporary. And a lot of professional athletes had gotten involved with them, but the efforts to serve the community have, have to be an ongoing process in meaningful ways. For example, they followed up on a June WCCO report on the Minneapolis Jays youth football team. They're just ricocheting, ting, ting, this one, that one. I witnessed uh, a, an episode on WCCO that uh, uh, gave testimony to a, a tragic event that occurred up at Jordan Park in North Minneapolis. And, and there were some kids playing football just the same as my son does in the East Metro and unfortunately got caught in a, in a, in a, a gang shootout. And it struck a chord. He reached out to us through email first. And basically it just rapidly assailed. He said, hey, this is what I'm going to do what you guys' biggest need is, what your biggest concern, and we just said transportation to help get the boys to a safe facility. This is what commitment to community looks like. The change started with me, foundation, raised some money, and then... A couple weeks later, pops up, here's a bus for us. And as of right now, we've drove the bus to Montana, we've drove the bus to uh, Oklahoma City, and we just had local games here in Minnesota as well. So that's just one of many ways that the change movement can come together, take our resources and provide them to the people that are spending their time molding these youth into to great young men and women. Aside from identifying specific needs to address, another thing the nonprofit aims to do is mentor entrepreneurs of color. I see the sky's the limits for them. I got some kids that like to rap. I got kids that make music already. I got kids that have, I got kids that like t-shirts. I got five and six year olds that already are trying to start their own clothing line. So it, it's, it's, it's a lot to when someone's willing to take an idea that you have and give you help. Um, I don't think that's pretty much been done in the city of Minneapolis before where there's people willing to come and say, hey, whatever you guys got going on, let us help you. And no strings, no, no nothing. So. Uh, change starts with me. They have a special place in the Minnesota Jays family heart, of course. It's all about setting an example. Our slogan is we over me. It really just spurred a huge movement. We were able to get some of the Minnesota Vikings players, some of the Minnesota Wild players, and, and a handful of just community influencers to come in and, and join us. So uh, it's been pretty special to see the impact that we've been able to make just in these communities doing these donation drives to stars. And the t-shirts have, have really taken off as well. Um, we sold them on our websites. And, we were able to raise just under twenty thousand dollars to to donate right back to the Change Starts with Me Foundation and, and support these missions. And when the foundation helps a team like the Minneapolis Jays, it helps them pay it forward. Every year we do something. We're giving back as well uh, throughout our community as well. It might not be on the same larger scale as them, but yeah, we we try as best as we can to make sure the kids in our community know that we have their back. Parents in our community know we have their back, and we're just going to be there for them. Excited to see where it goes next, and. Uh, happy to be a part of it and help make a difference. Which brings us back to the original point. Commitment to community is everything. We're sure trying to help kids come into this football season and be ready. We just took on so many more kids from the city of Minneapolis because they don't have football. Um, and we're trying to make it totally free for them, but traveling is not cheap. So with that being said, we just need any and all support that we can possibly get. The national media has just captured too much of our attention. We've got to figure out about what do we got to do to heal ourselves right here in this community. And I think that's where our, our minds and hearts need to be. Yeah, looking out for these kids and helping to mold them, shape them, support what this that they want to do with themselves. It can help them reach their dreams, whether that be playing professional sports or being business owners. To have someone in your corner to say, we can help you do this. Let me guide you. Let me mentor you. It can make all the difference. But it also comes down a lot to money. No matter yes. how, and, and, and if you want to play travel football, it takes money. And when we talk about being committed to giving kids, every kid, inner city, some suburbs, out of state, the same opportunities. You have to step up just as they're doing and raise money. Mm -hmm. and, and we try to sometimes push that off to the side, but it's reality. And mm -hmm. those kids deserve a great chance to play football. You can see the enthusiasm yeah. that they have. Yeah. And to your point, if you can start them thinking about other things besides football that maybe they're not getting in the classroom, and they can just start to think about what they want to be. Yes, and these are great things to also keep your eyes on. Of course, they are doing more of these targeted efforts to make sure that the efforts that they do come up with, the money they do raise is going to very specific needs that need to be addressed, and not just saying, if you give us money, we'll figure something out. I think it also came at a time with distance learning. Yes. With these kids, this was their one time that they could be with other kids this fall. And I think that became very important in the inner city and beyond that they had one place that they could be together and be outside for a little while and just let go of that energy. Yeah.
So big things and very important things to, again, continue to look out for when it comes to the youth, yes. youth football players, and then you know kids in our community. And keep that momentum going. Mm -hmm. Don't just let it go. 